Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff. On January 6, 2021, I was on the House floor when rioters breached the United States Capitol and battered the doors to our chamber, intent on stopping or delaying the certification of a free and fair election. As they smashed through the windows and doors and brutally attacked Capitol Police officers, they also posed the gravest challenge to our democracy in more than a century. As the country watched in horror, they saw the bravery of first responders, but they also witnessed the courage and patriotism of reporters and journalists at work that day. Despite threats to their own safety, the Capitol Hill Press Corps was dedicated to sharing the facts and truth of January 6th. PBS NewsHour was there, broadcasting live from the halls of the Capitol Correspondent Lisa Desjardins guided viewers through what is now one of the most important dates in American history. And despite risking her safety, she pursued the story and the history of January 6th. The entire NewsHour team was determined to provide the most comprehensive coverage possible, and that is exactly what they did. In the days after Desjardins was joined by colleagues in a roundtable to recount her experience, alongside Amna Nawaz, who had been reporting from outside the Capitol as the mob attacked, and Yamish Al-Sindor, who was at the White House. In true NewsHour style, the conversation was eye-opening, insightful, and accurate. For documenting a turning point in our American democracy with bravery and clarity, it is my honor to present PBS NewsHour's January 6th reporting with the coveted Peabody Award. Go ahead, Lisa. Go ahead, stay Lisa. Down, stay down, stay down. The police have told me to stay down, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I also don't want to show video. This area of the Capitol is an area that is usually prohibited from showing video. That's why I've been selected and shooting video. Not that the Capitol is up, operating under any sort of rules at the moment. I want to try and be respectful while reporting this extraordinary moment in American history. The police do seem, the police have gained control for the moment of this quarter of the Capitol. I no longer hear protesters chanting beneath me in Statuary Hall, where they have been, but I do hear shouting as police seem to one by one be taking down the protesters, telling them to get on the ground, trying to control the situation. Thank you, Peabody Committee, for this hard to fathom, incredible honor. I am just a regular nerdy reporter who loves our U.S. Capitol and politics in general. And when I went to work on January 6th, I thought I would walk in and just cover the end of the 2020 election. But instead, I was inside watching my fellow Americans break through the glass and doors and open up a larger wound. People often ask me if I'm worried about the future. And what I covered on January 6th made me see real danger up close. But I also see dozens of reporters working every day, grinding it out on big stories and small, covering important bills that no one else would notice. Our Constitution and democracy are being tested, and I witnessed it. But they are holding up, in large part because of what you recognize, stories and conversations that raise truth. And that matters. So on behalf of the Capitol, the building I love, as well as myself and the many people at PBS NewsHour who got us on air and kept us thoughtful in the midst of crisis. Thank you, Peabody Committee, for this honor.